स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू रील्स बायोलॉजी एंड इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द फ्लूड मोजाइक मॉडल ऑफ प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ऑन द सैंडविच मॉडल ऑफ डेनियल एंड डेप्सन एंड द आल्सो द यूनिट मेम्ब्रेन मॉडल ऑफ रॉबर्टसन एंड बाय द हेल्प ऑफ दिस टू मॉडल इट इट इज टोटली क्लियर दैट सेल मेम्ब्रेन और द प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन मेड अप बाय टू लिपिड layer or lipid bilayer and also there is existence of certain proteins and the cell uh, the lipid bilayer are amphipathy if we each and each single unit of the lipid or phospholipid is uh, amphipathy that is consist of a hydrophilic head and the fatty acid or the hydrophobic chains but certain problems of the theory of unit membrane model as well as the sandwich model that the how the external molecules so some water soluble molecules can pass through the help of these proteins as well as the lipid bilayer that theory or that point the theory was rejected two theories was rejected and also we cannot access with the movement of the of the lipid bilayer okay so in this video in fluid mosaic model which was proposed by singer and nicholson everything of the every questions regarding cell membrane have answered okay so what is fluid and what is mosaic why it is called fluid mosaic model you have to know because fluid means fluid is called the lipid bilayer lipid bilayer lipid bilayer is fluid because they are viscous and they present as a individual unit of phospholipid or they can move their position by need of the cell okay so they can move their position they are individual and they can move or they have movement what is mosaic the theory of the mosaic the idea of mosaic totally clear our concept that how proteins are present with the cell membrane according to singer and nicholson it is totally clear that the mosaic means the proteins are embedded in the plasma membrane as a iceberg in water okay so iceberg in water proteins are helps the movement of molecules in movement of molecules water soluble as well as every kind of molecules by need of cell certain need of cell the proteins are two types they are not globular or fibrous okay but a certain types but they are variety they have a multiverse type of protein the first one the category is intrinsic protein or the integral protein intrinsic protein another is extrinsic protein what is the job of intrinsic protein or what is intrinsic protein intrinsic protein means they are present or they permeated the cell membrane they can permeate in the cell membrane they invade the if i talk about this is uh, portion 1 and this is portion 2 of a integral protein the portion 1 facing to the outer environment and portion 2 facing to the cytosol or inside the cell okay and there are two types mainly there are two types number 1 they are carrier proteins they are channel protein another is carrier protein through channel proteins water soluble molecules or water molecules actually and some ions various type of ions can pass through channel protein and through carrier protein they are actually less functional in compared to channel protein several 
both soluble and water soluble or non soluble molecules can pass through the carrier protein okay and they can change their conformation and they can attach with the molecule which want to transport from outer side to the inner side of the cell okay so there are two types of protein one is channel and carrier protein another type of protein have been found in the cell membrane known as receptor protein what is the function of receptor protein receptor protein are helping cell signaling they can access the environmental signal and they transport the signal to the cell outside of the environment they access and they transport in the cell this is the job of a receptor protein okay another point given by singer and nicholson this is the main point they discussed about the movement of the lipid bilayer as they are discussed and as they are act as individual unit they have two type of movement let's draw here if this is a lipid bilayer i'm trying to explain you very simplified way because students often confused with the two type of movements the first one is okay let's draw here this is suppose this is one this is number 2 this is number 3 this is number 4 and this is a b c and d okay if one can change the position to 4 and 4 can change the position the present in 1 or 2 can also 3 and 3 can also present in 2 also move their position individual if this is occur in a single layer of lipid or phospholipid known as transitional movement known as transitional movement but there is also an adapt type of movement if one can change position to d okay and d can also change their position exchange with one or also a can change with two b can change with three c with four everything can is possible by certain needs of cell this type of movement is known as the bilayer movement the the movement happen in two layer and this movement is named the flip flop movement flip flop movement okay so our and another thing found carbohydrate can present the outer side of the membrane there are some proteins known as peripheral protein or extrinsic protein they are not they are not permitted to the cell membrane they present outside of the membrane they can present inside or outside and they can easily dissociate from the cell membrane okay they are actually synthesized in cytosol and they are soluble in compared to intrinsic type of protein so this is the overview of fluid mosaic model okay so if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel to getting updates of more videos so stay happy and keep learning thank you